So once you figured out that you wanted to convert your Ender 3 V2 or Ender 3 into a drawing printer, you need to find a picture. So I found this cool Batman picture that I'd like my printer to draw. Now, you guys just have to Google search anything. I would recommend finding a black and white picture like this. This tends to be the easiest for the printer to handle. Once you have that, you're going to want to head over to your browser and then type in Convertio. And I'll leave all the links to these websites in order as well, step one, step two, and step three for you guys so you can follow along very easily. Now there is actually a fourth one, and that is just depending on how you want to hook up your marker to your printer. So first, let's choose our file. Now conveniently, I have the Batman picture already loaded up. And what we're going to want to do is click 2 and then change it into a PNG. Now I guess we can actually change it to an SVG here, which relieves a step, but I don't believe it is the best software to do it. So I'm just going to click PNG and then we hit convert. And it should download automatically. Or actually we had to click download. Now it's downloaded. And then the next step is to head over to PNG to SVG. We will scroll down to here. We choose our file that was just downloaded. So we go to the Batman profile picture. And as you can see, it is right here. You want to turn your colors down to just one. And then you want to hit generate. And look, there we go. There's our SVG. And we click download SVG. And it should pop up up here. The final step will be going to SVG to STL. We'll select our recent download. And then we hit upload. And now what we'll want to do is we'll want to change 5 to point 2. This is very important. This is so the printer makes sure it only does one layer. So we hit convert. And I, we're waiting for this. It does take a little bit to convert. And now we have it. This is an actual STL file and now we'll hit download and for some reason it is going very slow all right now that it's downloaded we'll open up Cura and then we hit file open files then you go to your image vector and as you can see here it is all laid out this is what your printer will be drawing now with the next steps I do recommend if you do the layout like I do I have to set my z-axis a little bit off and it's I think the nozzle to the marker tip is 50 millimeters however that boosts this off the picture so let's try 25 oops positive 25 because it will end up drawing down here. Let's actually go back another 25. It just centered it again. Actually, I guess we'll have to manually move this one. And I'm going to bring it all the way up to the edge. And you'll see why in a bit when we go back to the drawing process. It is so the image is centered and your printer is not drawing off. And what you're going to want to do is you have to go to make sure your supports are off, your build plate adhesion is off, and go down to travel controls. This is actually the wrong printer setup. Let me switch to the Ender 3v2. This is my... Okay. Oh, there we go. So what you're going to want to do now is open up that file that the STL converter just gave you. And with that, you're going to want to move your image as close to that brim as possible. And that is due to the reason the marker tip and the extruder have a 
offset and it's around 50 millimeters. However, I've noticed if I just drag my file to the very top up here that it ends up with good results. And now what you're going to want to do is go to your settings and then travel. And then you're, you're going to want to set your Z hop so it actually moves over the image and you don't get marker lines through it. And I found that 0.5 works for me. It will change to, you'll have to calibrate it yourself to make sure indefinitely that you get the results that you want. I, I you don't want build plate adhesion, you don't want supports. And I believe you can actually amp up your speed with this since you're not working with filament. I did so I could get faster results. And then I actually saved this setting as stencil drawings, which you guys should do as well if you just want a profile that you can easily just click to and then convert from a regular printer into stencils. And then you just give it a slice. And these are very quick, so this will take 10 minutes and I will see you guys over there. So this is how I set my ender up with it, is I glued it directly onto the hot end, and then I also glued the marker in there. Now there is a different way to set it up, however I found this way to work best and you have easy access to it. This is the correct way to do it. There's two bolt holes on the side and they mount where the BL touch would go, but if you have BL touch, mount it my way. I hot glued it directly in line with the Bowden tube. This means you will have to set your Cura settings so your uh, STL is a little further back on the Y axis. I do negative 50 millimeters and just try to get as close as you can. Now this is how we set up the paper. You're going to want to use your glass bed and then on the back clip is where I position my paper and I clip it in ever so slightly and then I line up the sides. After that, I put the paper underneath the build plate and I, t I lift it up ever so slightly because the paper can fall off and rip out of the first clip. And then I tuck it underneath and I lay it down very flat. And I take another clip and I put it on underneath. And this is to secure the paper. And just be aware that your, uh, your printer might draw on the clip. Now it might not be a too big of a deal. I find these to be more like Picasso drawings. There's a little error every time. And as you can see, this is how I line it up. This is important because if you're using this, this holder does not sit very well with a marker. I will leave a link to that file, by the way, and it will all the everything will be in the description, guys. I will link all the websites in order and what to do. But this is important. So I line it up on the left. And now that I see that it is all lined up, I take my hot glue gun and I secure the marker in there so it does not adjust while it's printing. So it stays at one simple height and then your Z-hop retraction should work. Now be careful, your marker may not like the hotness of the tip of the glue gun. You don't want to melt your marker. But now that it's glued, I put my finger on the glue to just, I like drying it quicker now. Be wary though, it can burn you. I do not recommend that. It's just what I do. So let's see, now I'm auto homing the printer. And after that, you should be ready to print. Now, like I said, everything's in the description. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe, guys. Happy printing.